All right. I said uh, that this uh, the glue gobbets would pop right off. And there you go. Um, all right. So I said the glue droppets, gobbets, glue drops of glue would pop, pop right off. Watch this. Just pop, 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 pop. Yeah? You take care of your bench. And it takes care of you. Isn't that great? So, take a minute. I mean, it takes a minute, right? All right. Here, so, I dragged the clamp through that little puddle right there. So, I'm going to have to actually work a little bit to get it off. Because it's thin. And uh, being thin, it has more adhesion to mass ratio, right? And these things, I just slam into the side of them with a chisel and they pop right off because they're thick. But the ones that you mess with aren't so easy. Alright, so I'll get this. is I'll solve this with running my sander across it for a second and all I have to do is find my sander which is right here if I put paper down, but I don't. All right, move on. Okay, so we're back in on track here. Uh, I should change my shirt before I get into this too deeply, but nonetheless, pull the clamps. Just set them aside, because I just keep going back into use. Looks like I had a little uh, excess glue. I'm gonna do some cleaning. Um, you can wash if you want. I need to find. I've got a big, heavy piece of a of a chisel that I use to clean these things with. Let me take a look for it. things away. It won't kill me. I can do it. All right. 
a couple things. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt at all. All right, let's do a little cleaning of the clamps here. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Oh yeah, now this one. This one got glued right up into this part. That. Right. There we go. Nice. Nice. I'm gaining. Now I got this. Which, you know, I've got some run onto and it's glued on. Mm. Oh. All right. Well, it's no longer glued on. I'll have to deal with that. All right. Well, that one's ready to be dealt with. Grab the other one, see what that one turned out like. Alright, pull those. It's good, all good. Sick of doing that. Why that keeps happening, I don't know. Ooh, boy, I got glue everywhere. Places I don't normally get glue. Now that's that snap of goodness, huh? There you go. I got the stick glued on again. Alright, that one came off. Not to worry. Not to worry. All right. Let's um. side, right? This one. Little belt sander. Bing, bing, bing. Take care of that. Same thing on this one. Little belt sander. Take care of the glue and then into the planer it goes. Comes out smooth. Let's uh, do some belt sander. brings up a, an interesting topic. I still can't find my belt sander. It's the third day. The shop isn't that big. I just don't know where it is. Oh well. I'll borrow one. The problem with borrowing a belt sander is I don't know where the bag is for it. So I'm going to have to hook up the vacuum cleaner to it. It's going to be ugly. Uh, I'll bring you back after I get this done. So I've scuffed these both down. One side, one side's awful. The other side's great. Scuffed them down so that the only thing that's touching is the wood in places anyway. And it came out pretty nice in terms of flat glue. And I'll run through and I'll clean both sides lightly on this side. 
pretty thoroughly on this side. And then uh, we'll be ready to uh, try to cut these things into uh, two pieces. It'd be great. Let's go plane them. That's beautiful. Let's um, clean up the edges and uh, shouldn't take much. And then put a thin blade on the table saw and saw these things in half because I want them to be, you know, five sixteenths of an inch. Silence. Suddenly. Blue breaker. I'll fix that. Here we go, another one. Back to the planer. I think I'm going to run these things through the planer on a backing board just to take care of any variations because they're so thin. Because they're so thin. So I need a backing board. I'll get one right here. Just super. All right, let's go do some sanding. So these are 
this planing came out real well. I've got a couple of spots where I've missed a little teeny bit. I want to get a little bit aggressive with the sanding. I've got a 150 pad here that I think will do it. So let's see what that's like. I hate having to chase shit around. I've got a new sander. I, I just haven't started using it yet. This one's clutch is gone. It spins. That's pretty darn good. A little rough. Better. Okay, this is the 150. Good. 180 will make it sing, I'm sure. Let's uh, be a little aggressive here. Well, you can't beat that with a stick. A little detailing on the edge. Probably want to do a little rounding also. Breaking the arras, that's all I'm really doing. Moving that further along, that's nice. It has nice feel to it. Crisp, but not, you know, I'm going to cut myself. burn mark it's it's from the tip of the blade it's uh it's not really anything substantial all right let's get rid of it i don't know if you caught on but i really can't stand chasing them around on sanding the little clamps aren't doing it for me that's that Keep the jaws parallel. That's the trick here. All right. That is just super. Cute little serving trays. Cute. All right. Sparkly. Curly grain. Whatever this stuff is. Curly. Is that super or what? Super. Super. Good. Hit the edge. Do a little bit of glue there.
Oh, lots of glue with this one. switch over to the 180 and do them all again. 180. I wanted to show you the marks. Let's take a look. I don't know if you can, the trick is whether or not we can see them. There will be little marks from the planer. I see some right there. It's a matter of shadows, I guess. Let's take a look. That's out of your reach. Okay, let's try that again. So the planer does a great job of smoothing things out, but it's got a rotary head. The board advances to head turns, the board advances to head turns. It leaves little scallopy marks. And I've put some pencil marks on here to hopefully we'll be able to see some of this as I flat sand the surface. And you can see the little scallopy marks. I can see them quite distinctly. I'm sure angle and lighting and the rest of that. But um, the, it's not flat. It's, it's, it's been smoothed in places, but there's still what I like to refer to as the artifact of the machine that planed it. And I'm 
I'm not trying to fake it like I made this with a hand plane, but I don't like the marks that are left by the machine. I, 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 they're, they're the artifacts of the production and it, it doesn't please me. That's not why I did this. So I could do this all day or I could get my sander out and average these things out using a, the right kind of grit on the paper. Anyway, let's uh, sand the crap out of that now. Now that, that thing, a harmonic scooping happens everywhere. It's particularly bad at the end when the board is advancing or coming out of the plane because it's only on one roller and the cutter it has a chance to vibrate it and it gets a thing we call snipe. Uh, that, that was the wor that's the worst of it, but it, it happens throughout the whole piece. Anyway, let's uh, get back to sanding. feels nice. Uh, it's nice having that hand. Your fingers can tell you when you're done. Good. All good. So this is just a little, little bit pecky and that'll be it. Four sides. over to the 180 grit paper and give them one quick hit. Bing, 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 bing. Nice thing about going through the, you know, the, the grits is you can go quickly after you get established. That's nice. I don't care what you say. That's nice. Okay, back to that same argument again. It's it's about uh, it's about the artifacts. This is a artifact of the piece of wood dwelling too long in the saw blade at that spot and heating up. I want to get rid of it. And I'm going to succeed. Uh, close. I think I got it. All right. course done. Move on to the fine sanding. Get a used piece. See if it's got any life left in it. Pretty nice. Like it. Like it a lot. 
I think I'm going to get a pad up here. No grit, you know. All right. That's that. Now, um, I want to do a little detail cut on the ends and uh, cut it into a bunch of pieces. Let's go see what that turns out because I want to get 12 pieces out of this. Let's see how that works. Well, let's see what we have here. Um, you know, there's nothing truly exact about this. Uh, 34 and, you know, we'll call it half. Which is, um, it's not always see the same hands, 11 and a half. Yeah, 11 and a half. <coughs> That's 23. Yeah, there you go, 11 and a half. There you have it. 11 and a half. This one is 34 and a half. Plus a little bit. Call it 11 and a half. This one call it 23. There you have it. So now I'll just bust these up on the chop saw and, uh, you know, we'll have pieces. So I had a buddy that was a pilot and said that uh, he spent a bunch of time navigating as a navigator uh, in the airlines. And we talked about nickel turns and quarter turns and I guess I don't know but I guess that what he was talking about was that thing that you traced they pulled out of your pocket and traced on the flight map to show what you were where you were going and how you were going to get there so nickel turns and quarter turns this right here is obviously a bucket curve, like that. I'm thinking, thinking, I don't even know. I'm thinking I might be able to hold two of these together and do two at a time. I should probably find that out before I go too far. Anyway, let's go, uh, let's go see if we can saw some of these out.
have to do is clean up the ends. Got it made. It's great. Hopefully the backlighting will work out for you here. Drill press, sanding drum, get this edge smooth. Good. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. I'll do that 11 more times. So let's do a quick test. I want to stamp these things. I got my gloves on because I don't want to burn myself. And this is kind of a random process, but that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. That's good. All right. So pick the A sides, right? Look for blemishes. Then look for grain. I like this side better. So this is the back. There you go. Beautiful thing. All right, let's do that again. Not sure what I use for criteria. I like this side better. It's more sparkly. Can't tell. Go, oh, beautiful. Cranking. Got the blowtorch out just to give them a little teeny bit more burn. Gets it done faster, I don't wiggle so much. Better. Try not to do any backwards, upside down. There you go. Crank it. Loving it. Loving it. Right. It's riveting, I'm sure. See, this one's easy. This is way pale. Less cherry color. Not that I care all that much. Uh, that wasn't quite so good. 
But, uh, yeah, it really wasn't. I don't think I could fix it. I don't think it makes sense to try to fix it. And here I go to prove that. Uh -huh. Okay, and this one's got a little teeny bit of glue showing here, so that makes that the back. Regardless of anything else. Loving it. Good burn. Feeling the burn. Yeah, there's just no way to decide on this one. There we go. I guess I'm supposed to be able to tell by the amount of smoke that's coming out. All right, so this right here is once again pale. That makes it after that. Right. There you go. That's done. Dun 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 dun. So now I'll take them home and uh, give them the old beeswax treatment and uh, be ready to go. Off to a little bistro in uh, New York, and you can have your charcuterie off these boards. As of next week. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, we'll do something fun next time. I swear. <laughs> anyway, those are done. We'll move on. Let's go do something else now. So here we are in the polishing department. <laughs> I cheap polisher. Talk about a cottage industry, huh? So what are you putting on there? My beeswax, Debbie's wax. Debbie's wax. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> it's orange this, this time. Excellent. Orange flavored. I love that. Rather than cherry flavored? Uh -huh. It was lemon uh -huh. last time. Uh -huh. <laughs> cool. All right. That's great. I can't. I brought some more uh, that need to get waxed also, and that will finish the story for uh, this video I'm making. Excellent. Yeah. So, we'll see you in a minute. We'll get yeah. these things out and see what you think of them. We. <laughs> All right. Love the stamp. So, now putting the wax on really brings out the color. Or brings out color in them. Not the color, a color, yeah. some color. This seems more tigery than um, bird's eye. Is that... It's not the same piece of wood. Okay. It's just junk. It's just junk wood that was laying around. Well, yeah, it's really Hard pretty. Maple. I like this. It, it just it's, ah, it's looks tiger. sparkly. Yes, you're absolutely right. I think I'll just put a thick coat on and rub them down later. Oh baby, no, oh I baby. <laughs> Do you want just one? Don't you want one? Oh, look how the color pops. Oh yeah, look at that. Blows. Woo! It looks so 3D. I love it.
And that's just beeswax and mineral oil. Yeah. And a little teeny bit, you said a little bit of orange flavor. Yeah, I use some orange, that orange essential oil. There's one that's made for cooking. But you can eat it. <laughs> Before I just use lemon. Cause so it was if we wanted to actually gnaw on the board at some point, we sure, could. Sure, when you get really hungry, you can chew the boards. Sure. Excellent. But you'll probably so the have the equivalent to... of boiling your, your, your shoes when you're starving? <laughs> well, I don't know. You could probably get a CRISPR gene and have, have some termite gene oh, embedded yes, in us. There you go. That's something to think about. <laughs> so that we can uh, eat wood. I don't think we're going to have a lot of competition out there. All right. Well, this is terrific. So, oh, look, it looks like bubbles. Look, close you so right cool. in on that. Can you see it with the camera, though? I like it. It looks like little bubbles. Ah, so smooth. That's the thing about this. I mean, I call it junk wood. It's, it's, it's just unplanned things that happen because the wood has character. I mean, I've got a whole shop full of character pieces of wood. Well, I assume also it's too small for anything else. Like you and that's how it gets it. selected for this yeah. thing. This is the, what, where it stopped, that, that one stop just before the wood stove. Ooh, this is like wax sandwiches. Yeah. And the wax keeps them from absorbing water so that they won't hopefully warp. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, th thank you, Debbie, for... Uh, Waxing those things up. This is great. Anytime. Going to finish this project off. They'll be ready to go. Off to New York. I wish I was. We'll see you. <laughs>